super simple, solid color transitions. Awesome for transitions, obviously, as well as openers and title screens and that sort of thing. They look something like this. Now that project I've made available, it's down in the description so you can go and download it, open that project up yourself in DaVinci Resolve and you can steal the ones I've made if you want to use them. Now this is a bit of a different one, it's not using adjustment clips, it's not the easiest thing to sort of save and have them pre-stored in power bins and that sort of thing, but that's so easy to knock up it doesn't really matter. So let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what I mean. So the first thing we need to do is head into your effects library by clicking in the top left hand corner open up the toolbox, go to generators, and then you want to select the solid color and drag it onto your timeline above your project. So here I've gone for video two. You don't need to worry too much about the length here because you can adjust it thereafter. So let's just give me enough so that I can see what I'm doing. Now the solid color by default would just pop a black screen on top of your project. So to change that, click on it so that it's highlighted, head into the inspector in the top right hand corner, and at the top you'll see generator name color give this color box a click and then you can choose the color so you can select from this box here just make sure to bring this slider up if you're seeing nothing but black and you can just select all your different colors you've got all these basic colors on the left hand side you've also got a pick screen color option so you can move your cursor around and pick from a color on screen if you want to once you're happy just click on ok now as you can see we've got this sort of egg color going on above our project. The next step, all we need to do is head over again within your effects library in the toolbox, grab some video transitions and then just start experimenting, start having some fun, start playing around. So I'm, I know one that works really well is the center wipe. So I'm gonna grab the center wipe and I'm just gonna drag it onto this solid color and put it at the beginning like so. Now if we hit play, Now one way that you can improve nearly every single one of these default transitions, give the transition a click so it's highlighted in red. Hopefully you've still got your inspector open and then you'll see the attributes for the transition itself. Now where it says ease, it'll say none, just change that to in and out. And basically it'll do a mini speed ramp essentially for the transition and it will just make it look that little bit nicer. Now we're gonna copy that same transition from the beginning to the end a quick way to do that, click on it so it's highlighted like so, and then just hold the Alt key, click again and drag, you can just drag it to the end, release, and it's just made a carbon copy of the exact same transition at the end of your clip. Now we can shorten that down, and if we want we can just use that as a transition itself, so let's pop that over there like so, and we've got a relatively nice quick color transition. Now if you wanted this for sort of a title screen, you could just lengthen that out, hit play and it goes and sits on this color. You can add some text and do whatever you want to do and then it'll just transition out back to your main footage. If you need to, you can just move things along. Just make sure that you leave a little bit underneath, otherwise you'll end up with transition to black like so. Now that's obviously just a single color at the moment. We want to jazz that up a bit, make it look a little bit better. And this again, dead easy to do. Click on the solid color on the timeline. Again, holding your Alt key, just drag it upwards to make a carbon copy of it like so. Then head into the inspector and change the color. So we're gonna click on the color here and let's just go with a bit of a blue and click on okay. Now at the moment, they're completely on top of each other so we can only see the top one, which is blue, so it looks like so. So what we need to do is shorten this top one to expose the other transition underneath. Easiest way to do that, click on the edge, so the beginning of this top solid color, and you'll get this green glow around it. And then using the full stop button on your keyboard, just hit that five times. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. And that will just trim that clip by five frames. Repeat the process by clicking on the end, so it's highlighted in green, and this time use the comma or the less than, and do one, two, three, four, five. Now if we just play that back, we've got a really nice two-toned transition. Now if you highlight all of that on the timeline, you can right-click and then you can link the clips 
So it acts as one. You can drag it on the timeline, put it wherever you want it to go. I'm going to grab another one, solid color, shove this over here like so. We're then going to go to our video transitions. This time I'm going to grab a slide. I'm going to change that to in and out. We're going to copy that to the end like so. I'm going to change the color. Let's go with something nice and vibrant like a bright yellow. Shorten that a little bit. Make a duplicate of it. Change the color from a faded yellow. Let's go with a bit of a pink. We'll bring that in. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then if we hit play on that. There you go. Easy as that. Super nice. Super quick. And that's it, folks. I hope that was useful. I quite like this one. I think it's quite cool. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Any feedback down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.